What is earnest money? Well, today we're going to be talking about that, and it starts right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Robert Slattery, broker of Ohana Realty. If this is the first time visiting my channel, please consider subscribing below and click on that bell to be notified of new videos that come out every week. I talk about a lot of cool stuff in Hialeah and the surrounding areas, and I wouldn't want you to miss it. So, what is earnest money? Well, when you go to buy a house, you're going to offer a deposit to secure a contract with the seller. This is a good faith deposit, also known as earnest money or an earnest money deposit. Let's say you're offering to buy a house from a seller for $300,000. Within the contract, you're gonna offer to put down an earnest money deposit of let's say $3,000. This is done in good faith to show the seller that you're serious and that they could take the property off the market and sell it to you, assuming that they accept your offer. Now, I know what you're thinking, when is the earnest money due? Well, it depends on the contract that you signed and the date that you agreed upon. Typically, the earnest money will be deposited within three days of a fully executed contract being signed by the buyer and the seller. The earnest money can be returned to you should you decide to cancel during your due diligence period. This is pretty much the period where you fully inspect the home. But we're not just talking the home inspection. The due diligence period is the time frame where you want to check out the neighborhood, drive times to work and kids school if applicable, the local traffic, how about your homeowners association, check out the bylaws, rules and regulations, pretty much the time frame that you want to fully dissect the property and make sure you want to proceed forward with it. If anything comes up during your due diligence period that causes you to back out because it's a deal breaker, you'll get your earnest money back. However, there is always a point of no return. That point on the contract is when all contingencies have been met or they've been removed. Meaning, you're past your due diligence period, including the home inspection, it's okay. The appraisal has been completed and it hits the value of your contract, it's okay. And the lender approves your loan, thumbs up okay. So, if you're wondering what are the contingencies that are extremely important, those were then. The inspection contingency, the appraisal contingency, and the finance contingency. The inspection contingency. This one, as I mentioned previously, means that you are satisfied with the condition of the home and are happy with what you're buying. The appraisal contingency, the value. This one determines that the property has appraised for what you offered to buy it on the contract or more. The financing contingency. This one is where your lender, after reviewing everything, whew, tells you that you're approved for the loan. If you are past these contingencies and you want to cancel the contract, please speak to your realtor and confirm the situation. Chances are you're going to lose your earnest money and you do not want that to happen. When the buyer defaults and is in breach of contract, the earnest money is what the seller can keep as damages or sometimes known as liquidated damages. So knowing what's at risk, the more earnest money a buyer puts down, the more serious he appears to the seller because he has more to lose. More earnest money can help strengthen a buyer's offer. 
when working with buyers, it's crucial to be proactive and inform them of what is in the contract along with the contingencies and the dates that are important. We want you fully aware of the situation and disclose what can happen next once you make your educated decision. If that decision leads to a breach of contract and losing your earnest money, we want you 100% certain. Here is another question I get asked a lot from my buyers. Is the earnest money deposit in addition to my down payment? The answer is no, it's part of it. At closing, the earnest money is applied to or credited to your closing costs. So if your closing costs are $10,000 and your earnest money deposit is $3,000, the balance to bring to the closing table is $7,000. Well, now you know what earnest money is. If this is the first time you're buying a home, please click on the link below and download my free home buyer's guide. It'll give you step-by-step -step info on what you need to get ready to buy your home. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to comment below or ask any questions that you may have and consider subscribing to my channel. I post new videos every week and would love to be part of your journey. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.